Hey everybody, it's Kenya Fowler. Happy Tuesday to everybody. I'm gonna wait for some people to jump on and we're gonna get started. Hey Java, hey Kamara, hey Coretta. <laughs> Y'all, it's Tuesday. Yes, yes, yes. Man, we have made it another week. Listen, share the video, share the live. All right, share the live. Mm hmm. I'm so excited. Today is. It's a good day. Actually, it's a great day. It's a great day. Yeah. Man, how are y'all doing? <laughs> How's everybody? I hope everybody's had a great day. Mm-hmm. Hey, Kamara. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, Java, I forgot. Come on in, Saints. Come on in. Bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> Bring it in, people. Bring it in. I think that is just so funny. Yeah. Hallelujah. Man, this is good. Let me see. Let me see if I can uh if I can share share the video. Dun 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 dun. I think so. I think it let me share. I don't know. We'll see. I have actually never been able to share it while I'm actually live. Uh I haven't quite figured that out. I have to wait until um <laughs> until after the video is over and then uh and then share it so maybe somebody can show me that one day <laughs> um but hey can everybody hear me okay thumbs up or yeah we can hear you hey honey hey gerard Hope all is well with you and your family. Tell your mom I said hello, please. I just love her. Yep. <laughs> hey, honey. And listen, um, I've already said how excited I am. Um, while we are waiting for people to jump on, listen, um, I think now it's probably been three days. It was Saturday. 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 Um, Saturday. Um, hey, Madison. Uh, Saturday, I think it was, it's been a few days, but, um, I launched, uh, the Boundless Bundle, right? And listen, if you're on here and you have not gotten your Boundless Bundle, you need to order it now. <laughs> I say that because, like, literally, Mediums sold out the very same day. Um, hey, Brianna. And uh, Larges, let me say Larges. Yep, Larges are almost there. And... Okay, cool. All right, Gerard. <laughs> and so, yeah, like, they're going. So I'm telling you, you need to get your Boundless Bundle. And what it consists of, uh, if you are not aware, is um, the Boundless Tea. And it's funny, I have nothing, <laughs> I have nothing uh, with me currently. Hey, Eric. <laughs> I have nothing, like, with me currently. But look, the Boundless Tea, which everybody 
all of you have have seen it um as well as my book which is boundless unchained testimonies all right so i paired them both together and created a boundless bundle um and uh yeah you can right now get the bundle at um at a discount and it's literally as supplies or while supplies last all right so just be sure to go ahead and get your boundless bundle if you have not already amen yeah <laughs> Coretta say i got my balance bundle come on i got my balance book <laughs> <laughs> all right cool so listen again uh if you're just getting on here share the video um and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get started i'm not going to i don't plan to be long <laughs> we'll just kind of see how uh how this goes all right um so praise god today um i just want to um i actually just believe that the lord wants um um, wants me to talk about vision. All right. Vision. Hey, we got Brazil on. Come on here, Brazil. Yes. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Wants to talk about vision. Um, listen, um, God wants to give greater vision to who he is and the plans that he has for us. I know, Javi. <laughs> Come on here, Brazil. Man, that's amazing. Um, I'm going to say that one more time. God wants to give greater vision of who he is and the plans that he has for you, for me, for us. All right. Um, now, <sighs> Satan's plan is to bring about shame to bring about guilt insecurity and all of these things um in order to keep us from growing and living boundlessly right living a boundless life the boundless life that god created us to live but he is a liar and today god just wants to remind uh he actually two things two things um there are those who he his word is to remember the vision remember the vision all right and then there are those who he wants you to really get get connected so that he can give you the vision that he has for you all right remember the vision get in position to receive the vision um in Proverbs 29, 18, the word says that where there is no revelation or where there is no vision, the people cast off restraint, but blessed is the one who heeds wisdom's instruction. All right. Hey, Yolanda. Hey, Gerard. Or excuse me, <laughs> Pastor Smith. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to read that again. Proverbs 29, 18. It says, where there is no revelation or where there is no vision, the people cast off restraint. Restraint meaning self-control or discipline, all right? Casting off, getting rid of it. They, they, they're, they're not under self-control. They're not, they're not under discipline, the discipline that they need, all right? That they need to be under. But blessed is the one who heeds wisdom's instruction, all right? Now, in Proverbs 9.10, um, we know that uh, the word says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And this isn't talking about fear, like the spirit of fear, but it's uh, the, the reverential fear or the honoring um, of God, right, is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Listen, this is, this is man, God wants us to know that the vision the vision is directly attached to heeding the wisdom of god heeding his his wisdom it's directly attached to him when we spend time in prayer when we worship when um you know we're in god's word um, he's able to reveal dreams. He's able to then reveal visions that are uh, far greater than we could ever imagine that are that come from 
him, right? The place that we have to be in position and tap into in order to receive, all right? There's just some things, vision, revelation, insight, discernment, that are not, that we're not able to receive from God if we're not in the proper alignment, if we're not in the proper position, all right? And there's some visions that God has given some of you on here um, that he wants you to remember, that he wants you to remember. He wants you to go back, read the journal. He wants you to go back, listen to the recording. He wants you to go back and 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 revisit that word that God, that he gave you. He wants you to go back and, hey, Miss Richardson, hey, <laughs> thank you, praise God. He wants you to go back and revisit that word that he gave you. And he wants you to remember it. Listen, and not only that, he wants you to keep that thing at the forefront, all right? So if you're the individual that needs to remember what God has said, that's what he's calling you to do. If you're the individual that needs to get in position, to get into quiet time, to silence everything, you know, around you and get in prayer and really seek the face of God and really seek his voice and seek his word so that you can receive the vision that God has for you because know that it's going to be <laughs> the vision that God has for you, trust me, it's going to be bigger than your bank account, okay? <laughs> the vision that God has for you is going to be bigger than even your current surroundings as far as individuals go, as far as um, just what, what you currently see with your natural eye and even the reports and things that you have been listening to, you know, with your with your natural ears. It's going to be bigger than that. It's going to be bigger than than what you have thought even to be big, right? It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna surpass that. Like that's the God that we serve, right? Like his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And so we have to be in position to receive from him what he desires to give us. Now, listen, man, this is just so good to me because, hey, Matt, this is so good to me because you know, um, the latter part of the Proverbs 29, 18, right? It says, but blessed is the one who heeds wisdom, who, excuse me, who heeds wisdom's instruction, right? So if, if the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, okay, then the wisdom Hold on, hold on. Listen, walk, walk this with me, all right? If if the if the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, all right, then clearly what we're heeding is honoring God. What we're heeding is being obedient to God. That's what we're heeding. That's the instruction, right? It's it's God's instruction. It's it's being obedient to him. It's being obedient to his word. It's being obedient to literally everything that he that he has instructed uh uh instructed for us to to do, uh to say, to hear. If if it's to sit down, to sit down, right? Like whatever it is that God is instructing us to do, whatever instruction that he has given us, the obedience of that is is the wisdom. That's the wisdom. Hey Amen. We must be properly aligned in order to fulfill the assignment. That's exactly right, Pastor Smith. That's exactly right. We have to be properly aligned. And we have to be properly aligned in order to not just remember the vision, but also to do the things in order to uh, manifest or allow the vision to be manifested in our lives, right? And so um, God so desires for us to get it. He desires for us to get the greatness of not just him, but the greatness of the purpose that he has for each of our lives. Man. <laughs> oh my Lord. And listen, the beginning of Proverbs 29, 18, all right? It says, where there is no revelation or where there is no vision, the people cast off restraint. So listen, it's the vision that keeps, that even it's us keeping our mind and keeping our focus like on what God said, on the vision, right? We're to write it down and make it plain so that men may run with it, right? So that they may read it and run with it, all right? 
That's what the word says. And so if, if, um, if, or when there is vision, when there is assignment known, okay, then that allows us to not veer to the right or veer to the left because we know where we're going. Oh my Lord, did y'all catch that? Listen, having the vision, knowing the vision, which is equal to the assignment and fulfilling the assignment keeps us right where we need to be. It keeps us, hey Renata, it keeps us on the right path. It keeps us from, from being distracted. <laughs> Okay, because distractions will come and be aware that not all distractions are like bad distractions, right? A distraction doesn't necessarily mean that it's something um, bad or, or it's gonna, like if we indulge in it, we're indulging in something bad. No, that, that's not what it means. That's, that's not what every distraction is. However, if we're being veered off of the path that we're supposed to be on because of distraction, then we're in error, right? Because that's an area that we're not supposed to, or that's a path that we're not supposed to veer off on, right? We're not supposed to make this right. We're supposed to keep straight, or we're not supposed to keep straight. We're supposed to make this left. We won't know if we need to make the left or if we need to keep straight or if we need to, you know, hold off and, and yield a little bit, okay? Come on, street signs. We don't know if we need to, to stop, yield, veer to the right, left, or keep straight if we're not in alignment. If we are not in proper position in order to, to hear constantly from the Father. This is the importance of positioning, y'all. This is the importance of alignment. And, and God, I mean, it is, it is imperative that we remember the vision and that we get in alignment, that we get in position in order to receive the vision that God has for us. Hey, Esther, because time is going. Time is, is it's going and it's not waiting on anybody. All right. It's not. And this is another thing. Like so many people have the mind frame. This is something else that God is literally wanting to just like destroy. All right. In, 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 in the, in the mind, just because of what's happening, right? Just because of what's happening around us in this fallen world that we live in. All right. Hey, Daniel, we have, there, there's a pandemic currently going on in the world. All right. The world, a pandemic. And what the enemy would desire, all right, is for our vision and what we are seeing, what we are focusing on to be so caught up in what's going on in this earthly realm that we miss, we miss the vital point that God is driving in this, in this moment, in this season, in this time to say like, don't get so caught up and think that, that, that because everything is shutting down, right, in, in the natural or everything is shutting down in this outside world, that this is a time to shut everything down. Matter of fact, it's a time to shut your vision down. Like, just forget the vision because, you know, COVID-19 has happened or forget the vision because this personal situation has happened. You've had a loss or, um, you know, a loss of a job or, you know, a lost loved one or a uh, 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 discord in a relationship or, you know, your, your finances aren't adding up or, you know, you're, 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 um, you know, something is, 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 is just not adding up, right? The enemy desires for you to shut off the vision on account of all of this stuff that has been transpiring. But God is saying, remember the vision, <laughs> remember the vision, keep your focus on the vision, write it down yet again. Because if we're remembering, it's something that it's something that God has already said. It's something that we know God has already given us. It's something more likely we have already written down. Rewrite the, rewrite the vision, okay? Remind yourself of what the vision is. Remind yourself of what God has told you. Remind yourself, remind yourself. And as you remind yourself, begin to remind God. Do you hear me? Re, 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 begin to remind God and remind God of his word, of what he told you because it's, it's, it's his word. It's what he has given you to begin with. And so reminding him of your word, God, you said this, you showed me this, 
you gave me this on this date, you know, at this time. You know, some of you are that detailed, right? <laughs> <laughs> but if you wrote it in your journal, you got that, right? You got it. And so remind yourself of the vision, right? Get yourself, all of us, whether we're in a position where we're reminding ourselves of the, of the, of the vision or if we needing to position ourselves so that we can get the vision that God is wanting us to get. Either way, we need to be and stay in position, period. So all of us need to be in our word. All of us need to be in prayer. All of us need to be in a position to where we are able to, to quiet all the thoughts and we're able to really hear and receive from God. Listen, y'all, God checked me. Look, credit. Yeah, man, God checked me with this. He really did. He, 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 I, 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 I say check, but I, I really heard it in that still small voice. Literally, remember the vision. Remember the vision. Like, oh my gosh, remember the vision and don't let it die. And know that, man, know that when we keep the vision, like I said, when we keep the vision uh, uh, at hand, right? When we remember that thing, it allows us to keep our focus. It allows us to not veer where we should not veer. It allows us to, to stay the course, to stay the course and know that, man, that, and know that the prize or the, 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 the thing that God has promised us, that thing, that thing will come to pass. It will. It has to. Because God said it. It has to. There is no word from God that returns to him void. Period. It doesn't. Yes, as to position ourselves, it really matters. It does. Yes, remember, rejoice and rest in word, in, in the word he gave you. Absolutely. Man, that right there is so good. When we remember the vision, when we remember the word that God gave us, we're able to actually rest in that thing. We are. We're able to rest in it because God is faithful. He's faithful. He has never, ever lost a battle. He's not like man that he should lie, right? No word returns to him void. That means it has to, it must, as his word say, says, prosper in the thing for which it was sent. So if his word, if his vision for you, the, the vision that he gave you was to start the business, start the business. Listen, and, and it's important too that that with the vision we keep we 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 keep the vision yes but that we not be overtaken with the vision did y'all hear that because that is so easily done to be overtaken by the vision looks like i'm a, i'm going to i'm going to break this down to where you know how this thing looks to be overtaken by the vision. We know what God has told us, right? We have we have gotten in position or we've been in position. We've heard from God. We, we know what he's promised us. We've wrote that thing down. It's plain. It's clear. We're aware. We know, right? And then an overtaking happens. And what that looks like is being, being overwhelmed by what God has shown us and feeling like, literally feeling like we have to do it all in our own, in our own might. We have to do it in our own strength. And what that causes is a weight and a heaviness. Is that not, man, that's folly. Ha ha ha. That's foolishness. It is. It's foolishness for us to take a promise of God, a vision that God gave us, and allow that thing or turn that thing into a weight that's weighing us down to the point to where we're unable to even put one foot in front of the other in order to, in order to um, move forward in progressing to, to, to get this thing going, right? God, that is not how God wants us to operate. 
He doesn't want us to hear the vision. Rem he's not telling us to remember the vision or get in position to receive the vision in order for, that, for, for then the vision to put a weight on us. No, 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 no. That is not... That is not our father. That is not the God that we serve. Matter of fact, he says, cast every weight, <laughs> cast every care upon him. So if his instruction in the word is for us to cast all of our care and cast all of our weight upon him and, and place it upon his shoulders, why is it then would we would we receive the very thing that he's telling us to, to cast? Remember, cast Cast means to, to get rid of, right? To get rid of. And so we're to get rid of our weight and to give it to him, to cast it, to place it upon his shoulders because he's big enough and he's mighty enough to, to carry, right? But what happens is we look at the grandiose, you know, we look at the grandiose vision. We look at the, 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 <clears throat> Excuse me, we look at this big thing that, you know, God is calling us to, this big thing that he has promised us, this big thing that he has said is, is our portion. And we look at it and we're like, oh my, <laughs> oh my, where do I, like, where do I begin in even Stepping forward into that, where, where do I even start? I, I don't even have the capacity for that. And so, oh my gosh. And in, in with this being the thought process, it, it brings about a weight. <laughs> it brings about a heaviness. And it's, it's, it's a heaviness and a weight that God never, ever, ever intended for us to have and to carry around. So before you even, you know, in remembering the vision, in, in, in getting in position to receive the vision, before, before you even are allowed to, you know, place yourself in a position to where, you know, that weight has come upon you or even thinking about it. Because a lot of times visions that God has given us has, um, you know, we, we, we've allowed that weight to come upon us, right? And so weight, what does weight do? Man, hear this. When when we're weighed down with something, think about um, I don't know if if I had a a fifty pound weight or a fifty pound sack of something right that I'm carrying fifty pound bag of rice. All right, I'm carrying that bag. I'm starting off pretty good, right? We're going, we're good. It's on my shoulders, right? I got it, I got it on my shoulders, and and we're going, we're walking, we're walking, we're walking. Well, I'm only gonna get so far down the road before that weight begins to get heavier, the same 50 pounds now, heavier and heavier and heavier to the point to where I'm literally just going to want to get to a place and, and probably want to start crawling because I feel like I cannot go on. That's, that's how stagnancy comes in. Like that's what us taking on the weight, the, the unnecessary weight that we're not supposed to take on because of the vision, right? Because of the vision and the promise that God gave us. This unnecessary weight that we've taken on and we're so overwhelmed and we're so engulfed in this weight and this pressure that we're not even moving anymore. We're just stagnant. We're not even moving anymore. We're just stagnant. <laughs> and we can't progress forward in stagnancy. That is what God, that's what he does not want. That's what he doesn't want. That is, that is literally, <clears throat> excuse me, that is literally what he wants to even disrupt, even, be even before it attempts to happen again or happen initially, all right? Because for, for, for some of us, yes, it's a happening again. I have literally experienced this. You know, I have, I'm, I'm, I'm actually coming out of, out of, uh, out of a place <laughs> right now, right? And, and, and like, these are literally things that God has been telling me, like, or reminding me, you know? And, and it's like, like, don't do it. Don't even do it to yourself. Know that the same God that is big enough to give you this great vision, the vision that is, is beyond you to begin with, is big enough and mighty enough to, to, to carry the weight of, of its grandness. He is. 
he just wants us to obey. <laughs> he literally just wants us to heed wisdom's instruction. Period. That's it. And when we get stuck, we're to go to him and ask him, all right, Lord, this is where I am. And I don't really know what the next step is. What's the next step? Or I know what the next step is, but I don't really know how to go about it. You know, I need you to lead me. I need you to guide me. I need you to send the right individuals across my path. I need you to shut doors that need to be shut. All right. I, I, I need you to, to close off every trap that the enemy might attempt to have me walk in as I'm walking forward toward this vision that you gave me. The vision. The vision. Remember the vision. Receive the vision. That's that's literally what God uh, what God wants us to do, and to 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 not get caught up and 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 in 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 what's going on in in this world and and think that because of all of this, the vision, the, the vision is over. You know, the promise is, 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 is over. No, mm -mm. let me tell you something. Everything that's going on right now, COVID-19, this whole pandemic, none of it caught God, caught guard, excuse me. None of it caught God by surprise. None of it. He, he, he was fully aware that this was going to take place when he gave you the vision. <laughs> whether that was a year ago, whether that was two years ago, whether it was five, 10, 15 years ago. He knew when he gave you the vision. And see, this is how like the enemy will do. He will, you know, he, 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 he brings things, you know, he brings fears and he brings insecurities and he brings all of these things. <clears throat> excuse me, all of these things, um, in order to, um, in order to, to bring about a hindrance in order to bring about this facade that, oh, oh no, it's like, it's over. You know, my vision is over. The promise that God gave me is, is over. Like there's no way that it could happen that, you know, especially in this economy or especially, you know, since, since, I mean, everything is just, you know, spiraling downward and, and all this, that, and the third, listen, okay. I'm, I'm not saying that these things have not taken place. What I'm saying is, what did God say? And when did he say it? What did God say? And when did he say it? Because whatever God says, whatever he says is so. It is so, irregardless of the doctor's report, irregardless of the bank account, irregardless of the pandemic, it is so. It is so. No word spoken from God returns to him void, period, period. It doesn't matter what has come. Now, hear me, delay doesn't mean denied. Just because things might take a little longer, to, to, to actually happen or to manifest does not mean that it, it won't happen. Delayed is not denied. <laughs> somebody, somebody type that in there. Delayed is not denied. It's not. It's not. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. We must stay focused. We must stay focused. Yes. Praise God, Brianna. Amen. Renata said, and cut some people off. Listen, yes, come on here. Because everybody's not going where God is taking you. They're just not. They're just not. Everybody's not going where God is taking you. And guess what? And when we try to take them somewhere where they're not supposed to be, guess what they turn into? That same bag of rice I was carrying. A weight. An unnecessary weight wait cast it off cast it off cast it off man yes 
Yes, Pastor Smith. His word is the final authority. Absolutely. Man. I'm t oh, man. This is good. 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 This is so good. This is good to me. <laughs> this is good to me. Listen, y'all, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all something. Yes, God has me here, right? He has me here. He has me sharing, you know, but man, like literally as I'm ministering to you, I'm ministering to myself. I'm serious. I'm ministering to myself. That's, that's real. That's real. And I, and I'm grateful for it. I really am because we all, we all need to be stirred up. We all need to be reminded. We do. We need to be reminded. And so man, the vision, the vision, the vision, the vision. Listen, we don't need any necessary, unnecessary weight weighing us down and bringing us to a point to where we're so heavy, we become stagnant and, in a, and unable to move forward in, in, in what God, um, you know, has for us and in the steps that we're supposed to be taking to, to um, toward, you know, the vision that God gave us. And so listen, be stirred up, be stirred up and remember the vision, like really remember the vision and take steps toward the vision. Don't wait. Now is literally the time. It's the time. It's actually been the time. <laughs> it's the time. And so, man, I just, I just pray that this blesses you as it has blessed me. I'm serious. And share the video. Um, share the video. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share it myself, but just know that you know, ultimately God is in control, period. And um, we have to, it's imperative that we are in position and that we stay in position and that we are in alignment with him and that we are um, readily available for him to download, um, for him to download instruction within us, for him to, for him to give us exactly you know what it is that that he needs to give us all right um <laughs> amen daniel yeah man it's time it's been it's been the time it really has we're to be building in this in this in this um in this in this time we're to be building we are man mm, 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 mm. listen remember the vision receive the vision i'm serious and what i want to do is um you know, I, <clears throat> I'm just going to pray us out and, um, we're going to, um, you know, pray for, uh, just each of you and, and, uh, just the vision and purpose that God has, you know, placed on you, um, has placed within you that he's shown you, uh, that he's said to you and, um, and, just pray against any hindrances um, of the enemy, any guilt and shame, you know, that the enemy has attempted to, to, to bring forth or, you know, any stagnancy or anything like that, right, that um, will bring us to a place of um, being hindered uh, from walking forward in the purpose and the vision that God has given us, okay? All right. Um, hallelujah. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, I just thank you. I thank you, I thank you. I magnify you on tonight. We just bless your holy name because you and you alone are worthy. You are worthy of all the praise. You're worthy of all the honor and all the glory. There is absolutely none like you and none that compares or even comes close to you. And we just thank you, Father, that there is absolutely nothing that um, that you can't do. And we are so grateful, Father, to be your children. We're so grateful to be um, exactly who you have, 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 have called us to be. Uh, we are made in your image. And you being the creator has made us creatives. And I just thank you, Father, for the creativeness on the inside of each of us being stirred up in Jesus' name for new visions and innovation, amen, innovation um, um, being stirred up in the mighty name of Jesus that, you know, the outside of the box 
uh, thinking takes place and that we are able to receive things that are outside of the norm, Father, as you give them to us, as you download uh, into us, Father. I just thank you in this moment for touching the hearts and the minds and the spirits of everyone, Father, under the sound of my voice that received, that heard this word and that received it, Father. I thank you, Lord, as I call each and every individual good ground in the mighty name of Jesus. Good ground that this word has gone forth, has penetrated, and it is ground that is ready for the seed. It is ground that is ready, Father, to take on uh, 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 that which, which you have released on tonight, Father, and will produce, fruit will be produced from uh, the seed that has been sent forth on tonight. And Lord, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, Father, for uh, given the vision, for making it plain, for, for reminding us of the vision, Father, and bringing greater clarity, greater clarity in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, that your plans for us are yes and amen. We thank you your promises are yes and amen. We thank you that your word, Father, is yes and amen. We thank you, Lord, that there is, there is no good thing that you withhold from us, Father, because we walk upright in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just thank you, Father, that you have already blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And we just magnify you on tonight. We magnify you. We magnify, Father, your word. We magnify your love, knowing that nothing can separate us from the love of God. We magnify the Holy Spirit. And we just thank you for doing great and mighty things on the inside of us. Thank you for breaking strongholds in the mind, break, breaking guilt and breaking shame and breaking insecurity and breaking every fear in the mighty name of Jesus. The fear and the things that have hindered your children from going forth and, and walking out the vision, Father, that you have given them. We come against and we bind guilt, shame, and security, and fear right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, uh, 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 guilt from 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 not getting it right the first time or the first five times. Um, um, you know, th there are just there are just people who you know the vision. You you you, you know we we started out right. We started out on this journey and it didn't go right one time. It didn't go right two times and it didn't go right three times. And God says, yes, try it again, man. Do it again and don't allow guilt and 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 shame to hinder you from going forth in what I'm calling you to do. No, we are to look forward. We are to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you, Father, for bringing about freedom, bring about a greater freedom in Jesus name, bring about greater revelation in Jesus name. Revelation, Father, thank you for revealing to us the ways that we ought to carry about the vision. Father, thank you for 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 uh, uh for, for, for ordering our steps and leading us in the way that we should go and protecting us, Father, from veering to the right and veering to the left, protecting us from distractions, Father, even if they may seem good, okay? Thank you, Father, for, for uh, 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 just delivering us, Father, delivering us from all of those things, all of those tactics, all of those deceptions, all of those wiles of the enemy that the enemy tries to, that he tries to bring forth, Father, to shut us down that he tries to bring forth to weight us down to a place of stagnancy so that we're no longer moving forth. No, we are moving forth toward the vision in Jesus name. And I thank you, Father, for in this moment, giving strategy in Jesus name. Giving strategy. I thank you, Father, for strategy in Jesus name so that we know how to maneuver. We know what to do and how to do and when to do it. I thank you, Father, for giving us strategy for even, for even our, our quiet time, right? Giving us out the box, right? Out the box is, is what I is what I what I'm getting. Out the box. Don't think that the quiet time is supposed to look like this or it's supposed to look like that. Just come to me, God says, and allow me to download into you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Thank you, Father, for speaking on tonight. Thank you, Lord, for just for just thrusting us forward, Lord. Literally, literally thrusting us forward in the right position so that we are in the right alignment 
covenant, Father, with you so that we can hear what it is that you have to say, that, so that we can receive all that you have for us to receive, Lord. I thank you, Father for doing it, doing the miraculous, doing what's seemingly impossible with man, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for moving. Thank you for shifting. Thank you, Father, for, for, for just doing it, doing it, it being everything that you know needs to be done, the known and the unknown things as far as we go, the known and the unknown things, Father, the things that are unknown, shift them, the things that are known, shift them. And I thank you, Father, for uh, 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 giving us understanding, Right, giving us understanding, Father, as to who's who, who we are to be engaged with, who we are to be connected with, and who we're not to be connected with, Father. Make it clear and make it plain. Allow us not to take on unnecessary weight, Father, but that we cast every weight, that we cast every care upon you because you love us and you're great. You're that great. You're that mighty. You're big enough and you're great enough and you're mighty enough to handle every single worry, every single concern, every single weight, all the guilt, all the shame, all the insecurity, God says, give it to me, give it to me and allow me to switch it. Allow me to, to make the great exchange. Come on here. God desires to make the great exchange. Father, thank you in this moment for making great exchanges. Jesus, Jesus, thank you for making great exchanges. He is right now exchanging insecurity for great identity, identity in him. He is in this moment. Jesus, uh, 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 he is in this moment uh, uh, um, uh, uh, exchanging uh, uh, lies for truth. He is in this moment exchanging fear for 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 faithfulness and 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 confidence in Him. He is in this moment literally shifting and doing a great exchange from every single lie, every single uh, 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 every single deception, every single negative stronghold that has that has kept.
Father, for just moving things, moving and shifting things and regulating things on their behalf, Father. Thank you for just showing up, showing up and showing out in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. I speak healing right now. Healing, healing, healing. I speak healing to the pancreas right now in Jesus' name. My Lord. The endocrine system. I speak to every dysfunction of the endocrine system right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I command you to come in alignment in Jesus' name. I speak, Father, to, 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 to the thyroid. Any thyroid issues. God is regulating in Jesus name. Diabetes, God is regulating in Jesus name. Jesus, hypertension, God is, is regulating in Jesus name. High blood pressure, God is regulating. Uh, 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 numbness in the limbs, numbness in the fingertips, in the toes. God is regulating in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. My Lord, the word of the Lord says that, that we were healed. We were healed by the stripes of Jesus. That is your portion. Yes, Rapha, 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 Jehovah Rapha, the healer. That is who he is. And I thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for testimonies, testimonies coming forth in Jesus' name for what you have done. Testimonies coming forth, Father, for how you have shifted, for how you have changed changed mindsets, for how you have, have, have brought about a greater faith and a greater hope in the mighty name of Jesus. Testimonies coming forth for healing. Testimonies coming forth for, for the changing of doctor's reports because you are able and there's nothing too hard for you. And we just thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you. My God. My God. My God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. All consuming fire. Consume everything that is unlike you. A whole consuming fire. Consume everything that is unlike you. Consume it all, Father. And I thank you, Lord, that every, that every day, every day, every, every moment, every moment that we, that we go into quiet time, every moment that we submerge ourselves in your word, Father, we come out looking more and more like you, more and more like you created us in your image. And I thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Father, for bringing for bringing families together in Jesus name. Even though we have been in a it been in this in this in this uh, uh social distancing and and there have been, you know, families having to stay within the home and 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 and, and uh, uh um uh couples, married couples, right, having to, you know, come back together. There has still been separation yet within the togetherness, right? And, and God is mending those relationships right now in Jesus' name. He is mending that. And Father, I thank you for mending. I thank you, Lord, for doing, doing what, what we thought was impossible. Thank you. That absolutely nothing is, 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 you know, out of your reach. Nothing is out of your hands. And I thank you, Father, for speaking to these things on tonight. <sighs> thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. And I thank you. We love you. And thank you for the vision, Lord. Thank you for the vision. And thank you for giving us just giving us the know-how, giving us the know-how in every situation that we're not caught off guard in any way because we operate with the mind of God and in the wisdom of you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I magnify you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you, Father, for, 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 for my Lord. Mm, mm giving us creative ways to make more time. Thank you, Father, for giving us creative ways to make more time. 
that 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 we need to to get in your face to 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 write the vision right to seek you for the vision to remember the vision to to move forward in the vision lord thank you for 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 allowing that creativeness to come out of us father so that we're able to create more time father for the things that that you have for us to create more time for the instruction that you have already given us thank you lord thank you thank you thank you thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jesus, Jesus, mm, Jesus. I bind the death spirit right now off of your ears. You are able to hear clearly from God. You're able to hear clearly without interruption, without hindrance, and it won't be a muffling. It will not be a muffling, but clear in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for doing it. Thank you, Father, for doing it. Thank you for doing it. And Father, I break the fear from, from, be, from, from having the courage to speak the vision, to speak the vision that God has, that God has given you. you no, know, you will speak it. You will speak the vision and you will be bold about it. You will speak it and be bold about it. And I come against the 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 the, the lie that the enemy has attempted to place to bring about a hindrance to keep you from speaking that which, which God has shown you. Speak that thing out into the atmosphere. Speak those things that be not as though they were. And watch God. And watch God. It's his word. Watch God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My God, you are amazing. You are worthy. You are mighty. You are wonderful. You are omnipotent. You're omnipresent. Who and you are concerned about everything that pertains to us. And we give you praise for it. We give you honor. We give you glory. And we call it done, Father. We call it done, 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 and so. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, the vision. Woo-wee. Mm, 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 mm. He's amazing. Man, he's amazing. Listen, y'all. Oh, man, 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 man. If, 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 if you're just getting on, listen to the replay. Listen to the replay. I'm telling you, listen to the replay. God is amazing. He's amazing and he loves us. He's amazing and he loves us. <laughs> and we win. We win in him always. We always win. We always win. So yes, listen. God wants to give greater vision of who he is and the plans that he has for you. Get in alignment, get in position, and receive. And or remember. <laughs> Have a good night, y'all. I love you. God loves you greater.